simulation, although 90 years old, uh, is not well understood within the medical profession per se, and therefore it's been difficult for us to move it forward. The principles of objective assessment and training to proficiency is revolutionizing the way that healthcare professionals are trained. Medicine and healthcare uh, during the 20th and 21st century has become much more sophisticated, much more complex. And a traditional classroom approach to learning is no longer efficient and effective. Uh, furthermore, um, there's good evidence that uh, there are problems associated with learning the skills necessary for the practice of safe healthcare. And a new way has to be found to help healthcare professions acquire those skills. And it's not just acquire those skills, but it's to acquire those skills to a quality assured performance level. Effective and efficient technology enhanced learning is really about the use of technology as, as a tool for the acquisition and maintenance of skills. It's uh, about the use of that tool to give the trainee feedback on how their learning process is going, what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong, so that they have the opportunity to correct uh, their skills deficits. And that approach is uh, more a deliberate practice approach rather than a repeated practice approach. The MSc in Technology Enhanced Learning at University College Cork is really built on the last uh, 20 years of research by myself and a number of other uh, professions around the world on how to optimally use technology for enhancing learning in a healthcare context. And one of the things we know for certain is that it's not simply a process of pointing the trainee at the technology and telling them to learn. It's about how to use that technology as a tool to deliver a curriculum which ensures a quality assured performance level of the trainee before they graduate. The masters is really how that process works. The clinical trials that have shown that technology enhanced learning produces a better skill set in the trainee is not achieved by accident. And it's really the MSE at University College Cork is how to optimally develop, then deliver, and then evaluate and validate that uh, technology does actually enhance learning and that it's not just an educational experience. This program is aimed at a wide uh, variety of students that will all be graduates or very experienced in healthcare context. And the sorts of students that we're aiming uh, the course at are doctors either who are in training, uh, who want to learn how this whole system works, doctors who are going to become trainers, but also nurses who are in training or want to become trainers. I think the course will be of considerable interest to industry because the process of device approval is changing rapidly. In the past, it was sufficient to go to the FDA or the European Commission and say that we had an educational uh, component associated with device approval. The FDA and the European Commission no longer accept that. They want to know, OK, well, what, what is your education package? Uh, how does it work? Uh, how does it facilitate uh, the trainee? And we're talking very senior trainees. We could be talking about consultants or very senior nurses. How does the process facilitate them learning what to do, what not to do, and allow them to hone their skills. This means that industry must know how technology is optimally applied for safe and efficient skill acquisition to a quality as your performance level, and then how do you validate that performance level. We hope that the students uh, take the course over one year, but it's possible to take it over two years. So the only time that the student will actually be in the university is the, during the two weeks of the summer school, if they choose to take it. And the assessments for the different modules are continuous assessment. That means it'll be essays, it'll be reports. And in terms of interaction, it'll be online interaction with their peers and also with uh, the staff that are delivering the course.
where the trainees would actually for two weeks come onto campus and the first week they would actually go through a number of simulation training courses everything from procedural skills to ward skills to actually learning uh, what sometimes referred to as softer but are actually very difficult skills for example in a palliative care environment how do you deliver bad news uh, and the second week uh, they would basically have to construct a course a technology enhanced learning course they would do that during the the course of the year studies and then they would have to deliver it uh, here at UCC in collaboration uh, with other students on the course the typical career prospects for a graduate in the MSc in Tel for Health are pretty good the training and education uh, in healthcare environment is changing radically uh, the approach to training is changing radically and we would expect that the graduates coming off the course would be well capable of walking into uh, a job in a healthcare context, for example a skills lab in a hospital where they have to set up uh, a training lab for multi-professions throughout the hospital. We would also expect that graduates would be very attractive to governmental organisations that must commission uh, simulation and training labs because it's not just about the space and the equipment that you put into a simulation lab it's, it's how it functions, how it's costed how do you know that it's actually working and of course they would also be very attractive to industry industry is producing new devices continuously for the healthcare environment and one of the things that we know that can lead to a device being unsuccessful is that the the individuals that are supposed to use it don't know how to use it. So industry is going to have to work out how optimally to train the individuals to use their devices. I think that the course that is going to be offered is the opportunity to train professionals in the training of educational principles so that when our students come to be educated, they're done by professional educators as opposed to the clinician who thinks they're the best educator in the world.